Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the factory and to the vlogs. And today is a really exciting one. We're getting ready to go drifting this weekend tomorrow, in fact, which is, I just, I'm so pumped about. As you can see, we have a freaking full factory at the moment. Uh, when I first got this place, I was like, man, there's so much space. Now I'm like, where has all the space gone? It's actually nuts. Uh, lots has been going on since you guys saw the last episode with Tara and the R34. Uh, as you can see, the T18, is still here it's still ours and as you can see there's a motor behind it which is like awesome and exciting uh that is a 2.8 liter motor and yes that motor is going into the t18 uh but that is one that we'll leave for another video uh we've got a time machine i'm super pumped about that it's been something that i've wanted to get for a while and now obviously that we have all the wheels we need a time machine it kind of doesn't make sense to constantly go down to the tire shop and pay them money. So I'm going to pick one up. Shout out to Bogger from Bogstock Performance who sold me that. Super stoked on it. Um, but today we are focusing on this beautiful rig and getting it ready for competition tomorrow. And let's be honest, it is pretty much ready. Uh, I mean, I could take it drifting right now and I think it would be sweet to go because we headed on the trailer to go to South Australia. Uh, for the last event and i'd already prepped it but we're doing a couple more things that i wanted to do but didn't get done in time and one of those things is installing these amazing aftermarket door cards i'm so stoked on them uh these are from burnouts unlimited oh man check that out super nice um i've got the crappy stock door cards in there at the moment and they never look that good i've wanted aftermarket door cards for ages but they're really quite hard to find and very expensive to ship over from america but luckily for you guys and myself, Burnouts Unlimited now sell these door cards. Super rad, nice and thin, which is what you want because they're lightweight. Um, and the door card really, its main purpose is just to cover all the jagged stuff on your doors, uh, otherwise they won't let you go on track. And to make it look tidy, right? 130 bucks for the pair, which is amazing. Uh, these are ones obviously for Sedan, but he also does coupe as well. Freaking stoked. So shout out to Nathan from Burnouts Unlimited. He also did our uh, metal valve cover that we have on the engine here as well. Freaking valve covers sick as well. Um, so I'm just stoked on their products. But also one amazing thing about this, it's made to fit the two-step garage toe straps as a door handle, which is so freaking cool. So right now, we're gonna fit this up to the driver's side and kind of see how it comes up. Now, I forgot to tell him that I have window windy winder things instead of the electric windows. So uh, there's no hole there, but doesn't mean we can't drill one ourselves. So uh, let's get it done. Oh, sorry. That was all metal. <laughs> That's nice. Oh, yeah. You like? Yeah. That's sick. How's it look? Well, that was the world's easiest install ever. You can have a look for yourself if you like. How good's that, dude? It's so easy as well. Happy? I reckon that looks pretty good. Two step gas toe strap. Nice. Where can you buy them, Michael? Ah, uh, some website. <laughs> now, for real, links into the description for the door cards. And uh, you can buy the toe straps as well. Links in the description, but I'm just pumped on it. Look at my drilling. <laughs> I didn't file that down. I should have done that. I'll do it <coughs> at some point. I'm happy as. 130 bucks for the pier. Write what you like down yeah. below. Let us know in the description what you think. Oh, in the comments? No, in the description. That's my place to write. You can't write there. It's my place, the description, so stop writing in my description. Or I'll hunt you down. Alrighty, so now that that is done, and I'm super stoked about it because it just looks super nice, we're going to align the car. So we've got our Blackout factory toe plates, a couple of measuring tapes, and uh, we measure the toe out, and uh, we're aiming, I always aim for 10, 10 mil toe out, 10 millimeters. Alrighty, so now that this thing is aligned, I'm gonna chuck it up on the hoist, do a quick bolt check. Even though I know uh, when we left for South Australia, everything was all good, it's best just to do it to, uh, to keep peace of mind, pretty much. How good does this thing look, man? 
It's been through the wars, but it still looks freaking fantastic. <laughs> set up and good to go gosh this thing looks so freaking cool even though it's such a nugget as well can't wait to drive it tomorrow it's gonna be freaking awesome damn look at that front poke <laughs> those flares do nothing sick all right time to load up team Alrighty, so we're all packed up. As you can see, super basic setup when we go to the track. Uh, comp days, I take a little bit more than I would on like a Friday night drift, night when it's like a four hour drift session. Obviously comp's a little bit more important. Spear diff, spear coil over, can go either left or right. Uh, spear axle, I have a spear turbo as well, just in case, you know, whatever happens. Um, so they're like the main things uh, that generally speaking can go wrong obviously you can get like spare gearbox and stuff like that but i've got the zf gearbox for the car so fingers crossed that that's fine um obviously wheels and tires we have a bunch of those which we'll be all chucking uh on the trailer fuel water so there's a water container not a fuel container up front it's always super important to have a water container in case you need to bleed bleed out your water system and stuff and the taps like 100 meters away um tow plates for alignment gazebo because it's going to rain tomorrow and that's pretty much it, the jack, oh, and the, the bolts box, which has helped not just me, but many other people at the track when they're looking for spare bolts. I always take that because whenever I don't, people always need it. I got like spare fuel pump and stuff in the box as well. And then all the tools are inside the car and the helmets. And that's pretty much it. Super basic, uh, but everything you need to go drifting. Woo, just like that, we're all packed up. Stoked. Cannot wait to drive this thing with the new power. Woo. We are here today at Quarter Park Raceway. We're finally drifting the E36 in competition. As you can hear behind me, it's running. And everything seems to be pretty good at the moment. Um, car's running great, past scrutineering, no worries. Dave is here with his LS E36, first event out. I'm just so stoked that he freaking finally made it. He's had some drama and some bad luck with it. He got a gearbox rebuilt, and then uh, that gearbox didn't work, so he had to get it fixed and put it back in last night and get it aligned. But the car's here and it works and Jordan's Go here, on. what's up? So we've got a very, very cool crew. Damon's here also. I just can't wait, man. It's gonna be so good. So Dave will be pretty much testing this thing all day and he is battling in competition. Uh, there's 25 drivers, so we all qualify instantly, which is nice, but that doesn't mean that we are not gonna go for the top qualifying spot. So uh, let's go send it. We're gonna turn the, put the GoPro on the helmet and we're gonna go out for our first little laps. Yeah.
so practice was awesome. A couple of average laps, a couple of really good laps. Car is phenomenal. The grip is next level. Super happy with it. Um, now it's just about getting the line down and just styling my uh, my line and also the ch the chase run as well. So it's just a little bit. The entry's kind of difficult. I don't know if you can see on camera just to learn where to set that transition up onto the wall to make sure that you carry the line. So, but just having the most fun out there. We've done a set of tyres onto the second one. So stoked. So uh, now it's second driver's briefing. Back out for practice. Qualifying later. So Dave's car is going well as well. So. Happy days. Bit of uh, battle damage here. Shout out Cam Martin. I think he debated the tire in front of us. So, uh, little dent. Little dent going up. We're good. Alrighty, guys. We just had second driver's briefing. Back into practice. It's uh, had a couple of spittles of rain, but we'll be alright. Got Jordan in the car. Yeah. Woo. So keen, okay, man. Coming down now, 
it's qualifying. The car got hot. For some reason, I think we had an airlock in it, so we cooled it down. I'm in the car with Nathan from Burnouts Unlimited. He also has a turbo M52, V36. Now it's qualifying, but we're gonna go out for a test lap because it's raining and see where we stand. All right, guys, qualifying time. Here we go. Looks like we might have a blown head gasket, but that doesn't matter right now because the car still runs. Still runs, still skids. I think. exact wrong time qualifying yeah we did first qualifying run as you can see it's raining I had grip at the start as you can see in the video come down felt super comfortable and then it was just started floating and then you're just a passenger yeah it's just the perfectly unideal conditions it was not fun so we're venting in a tie rod but everything else held up great the new cares engineering buckles are awesome lcas are great everything's good so if that turns to that fantastic so we're just going to swap it over also we have a blown head gasket but yeah. I followed Mike and it's kind of just like we got to the point near the wall and it's like there was oil on the track or something and it's, I kind of came in a bit slower and it was just like nothing, couldn't control the car but I don't know, we're going to go out again once this is fixed. Um, yeah, probably just straighten that out. Right. Should be right. Mid entry, close. And I was like, Everyone's there. Alright, so we got it fixed in time for qualifying. Unfortunately, we got the measurements wrong uh, for the alignment. So as you just saw when I went out for qualifying both times, the car didn't even drive. Um, we thought we were towing it out just because we were in a rush, but we actually towed it in. So this side's towing in, this side's towing out, and that's why it just wouldn't drive. So now I'm going to tow it out. The car's got a blown hair gasket, so we're just going to leave one of the little bleeder fillings, fittings off and just come in and keep filling up the water. And... Uh, go out and drive. We still have battles because there's only 25 drivers. We still get into the top 32 obviously or top 25 for the battles. So uh, it is what it is but now we're going to go out and see if we can't send it and uh, have a good time. I'm super bummed. We were going so well earlier. Um, the car's really taking a hit today. Blown here gasket. Um, I don't know if I showed you guys the damage on the wall when we hit it but uh, it's a good time. So, But the car still drives so we're going to go out and see if we can't send it. Just for you guys just for the crowd. It's a good time. the best drift events doing really well to just absolute trash the, the car's pretty well stuffed at the moment blown head gasket smashed rear and uh, I'm pretty disappointed to be honest because today was supposed to play out much better than this but what are you gonna do it's drifting yeah I guess it's drifting it's uh it's super disappointing man but uh we'll fix it and we'll be back so, so I'm back in the car on the way home had a little bit of time to reflect now on today um, and even though, you know, things didn't go our way, uh, a lot of positives to take out of today. One being the driving in the morning was some of the best tandem uh, kind of practice driving I've ever done. Uh, the car was feeling amazing. 
felt super confident. It just threw me off a little bit going from the dry entry onto the wet surface. It was super skatey. Um, and yeah, just a bit difficult. Uh, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, you live and you learn. We're gonna take these uh, lessons and move forward. There's police right next to me, so I'm gonna stop recording for a second. So yeah, can't be too annoyed with things. Uh, yeah, all things considered, some great driving, good fun. Um, I'll straighten the back of the car out. I'll chuck a new heat gasket in the motor. Which is weird, I don't know when we blew that heat gasket, but maybe I didn't bleed the coolant before I went out on track for the first time or something. But the car absolutely rips, so. I just need to sort out my wet weather driving. I think once I hit the wall, I kind of got thrown off, you know, all together, because I was feeling super confident early on, so. It is what it is, on to round two and lots more drifting and whatnot. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I just want to say a huge shout out to everyone that came up and said hello today and looked at the car and said nice things. It was mind blowing. There were so many of you guys. So thank you so much, um, for real. And I will have merchandise and stuff at the next uh, at the next meet or event. So um, I'll see you guys there. Make sure you hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Uh, one like, one prayer for the E36. Um, make sure you hit that subscribe button, join the fam. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers. I need a hot shower. You. Peace. <laughs>